Okay, two watt, you see as before, two watt, uh, two kilowatt diesel heater. Major smoke problems. I know what's happened. We've been running it too low because we've been testing, testing, testing. When I put it in the vehicle, not run it full power, and it's clogged the hell out of it. And now we've got issues. So we need to undo that one. The control unit on top, which is what you have to do. There we go. And we're going, what I'm trying to do now, I'm going to take the plug out and just have a look at it. And there's an atomizer in there or a filter, whatever you want to call it. So we just lift this off, push that together. That's it, that should come off. Just be careful, where are we? I've also found, found a pinched wire here. So on here, we've got to disconnect this because I'm going to pull out the plug. I'm just going to show you everything. I'm not going to try and hang about where people just... I watched a video the other day on one which was really smoking. And I was like, come on, mate. Right, pull this back gently. Put it out of the way. Now you have to either get a special spanner off Amazon or make one yourself. I made one myself, two seconds, and I'll show you that. I bought a set of Amazon, they're really cheap. Uh, I think they're about six quid, I think. Is that all right? So let's get you a bit closer. Ooh, can you see that? Let's have to try around here, hold on. Slide your spanner over the top carefully. It is a bit, it's a bit tricky. You get it lined up. You might want to order yourself a spare heater plug before you do this, because they're ceramic and they break very easily. Okay, it's just a connector, okay, just all you need to do. And then it should come out. Then underneath this is an atomizer or a filter. Two seconds, I'll just undo this now. Yeah, a little bit off that I must admit. Sorry. Right. I'm guessing this should be all sooted up. Okay, I don't want to make this a long-winded video. I just want to show you what I've got to do. Let's have a look at that. It looks okay, but, you know, I've got a spare. I might just change it for now. I'll have a closer look at that. You can't see it. It's okay, inside there is an atomizer, and it looks a bit gungy up there, doesn't it look? So I use this to get it out. Just gently this. And actually it's quite clean. It's actually very clean. So I think it's all gunged up inside, and that's why we've got to fire it up and then get it red hot. Look, that's clean. Okay, so we'll put that back. Okay, so he's back in there now. It's all quite clean. I'm going to change the heater plug. You can buy these complete kits now off uh, eBay. These are brand new. And also you can buy it. It comes with a complete kit as well. These are about $16.99, and that's your atomizer. So I'm just going to change this. New one going in, quite all straightforward, pretty straightforward. Make sure you don't cross thread it, so just use your fingers. 
that's it got it it's nice and gently because it's ceramic then we'll give it a test i think it's going to still smoke and what i'm going to do is take it up to full power and leave it on full power for an hour at least that's what's going wrong right, you don't want to tighten it by the wires just pinch it like that and then get your tool back and you just want to nick it you don't want to over tighten it okay Slide your cap down carefully. Click a bit of fitting. Right, put the bottom in first. Anyway, I'll carry with the cap. It does fit. You just got to be patient with it and just gently push in with a blunt instrument or whatever. I'm using a very fine. Allen key here. Just be careful, you don't want to damage the wires or break it, okay? That's it. Okay, we're in, I think, a little bit more there. Right. Okay, nice. Fitting it back onto the CPU or Trump or motherboard, whatever you want to call it, and then you can only go one way around because there's a little lip at the top here, and that clip goes over the lip. There we go. Okay, tuck them all in nicely, like so. Put it back over the fan, clip it in, put the screw back down again. Okay. Make sure it's free spinning, nothing's jammed. Oop, that's close. Look at that, see? There's a wire right close to that fan, so you don't want that. That's fine. Okay, tuck it right the way. Okay, I'm gonna fire it up. You're not gonna you're not gonna watch well, I'll just do it anyway. Yeah. See it's just popped out again now, look. See if she fires it probably it'll probably stop again. I've got to try and I think it's either gunged up. Someone says it's fuel, but 